come to Israel or Palestine to document what's going on here or the conflict or anything like that, but... The military just stopped me because I don't like my shirt. He showed me his gun. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. took it. He yeah. took it. And yeah, he took put it. it in front. Yeah. <laughs> so. He was really mad at you. Palestine. Yeah. Yeah. This is Palestine. So even but in Palestine... <laughs> so even in Palestine you can't wear a shirt that says Palestine. I went to the West Bank during a fight between Hamas and the Israeli military. And Hamas is in Gaza, which is on the other side of Palestine, but tensions are obviously high, always. So when a situation like this is going on, it's completely amplified. Gaza and Israel are facing their worst violence in years amid escalating attacks by Israeli and Hamas forces. Hundreds of rockets were launched overnight as both sides exchanged fire. The deadly violence follows an apparently botched Israeli military mission in Gaza over the weekend. You could hear gunshots echoing in the distance or see kids throwing rocks at the Israeli military and the Israeli military using tear gas and sound bombs. Look, made in U.S. Look what's right here. Dangerous. Do not fire directly on the person. The shooting, you know, from how far? Five, ten meters. Gunshots. Israel built this giant military wall to divide itself from Palestine. This wall is actually considered illegal by the United Nations. It's supposed to be built along the Israeli-Palestinian border, but it's not. It's actually built through Palestine. And that's what this whole conflict is about. This whole conflict is about land. So Israel building this wall through Palestine essentially forfeits that land to Israel. It's very bad yesterday, which was, what happened in Gaza here, nobody knows you are Jewish, you are Christian, you are, you are tourist. it's better for you to take the taxi. Um, listen to me, you, why you came here, you came here to see it, to see it, to enjoy it. Well, I am not a driver, I want to help you and you tell me. Oh, that's okay, thank okay. you. Welcome, where are you from? Everywhere. What was that like for you to see the wall come up? Of course, sad. Yeah. Funny, crazy. You know, America government can do this. I know. It's bad. But people in America are good. I know they are good. It's different between the Gamar government and the people. We know that. We sure from that. Out here in the distance is the Israeli settlement, and you can tell because the Palestinians have water towers on top of their houses, whereas the Israelis have their own water system and have access to water 24-7. So this is a Muslim cemetery where people I've met have family buried here, and uh, this is Rachel's tomb, which is a religious site and all over the ground like right here there's bottles of piss thrown by the military from this watchtower I can't pretend that it's not complicated because I've met normal Israeli people that would never hurt anybody 
I've met Palestinian people that don't want to hurt anybody. But there's so much pain and suffering here. I hung out with a bunch of Israeli people. I hung out with an Israeli soldier who told me stories about how he killed a Palestinian boy, a 17 year old Palestinian. He killed him, shot him in the head with a gun. And I talked with him. I, I had a conversation with this guy for two hours on a rooftop in Tel Aviv. And He's just a guy that got put into the situation. Uh, if you're a kid in Gaza, you just wake up in this situation and you have no choice but to react to your environment when you have military soldiers patrolling down the streets and everyone around you is so hate-filled and you're limited to your resources and you are told this is the reason. And then you have kids that are forced to join the military in Israel right after high school that are irrational. If I was 18 with a gun and all the, just the, the testosterone I have and the angst of being a teenager and just the, having a social life, all these sort of things you go through as a teenager, you know, these people in Israel live normal lives. They're not, they, they have, they're normal people, they're normal people, but they're being thrown into these situations and they're both sides are filled with hate and anger and both sides are filled with with so much subjectivity about the situation. It's fueled on both sides of being brainwashed to tribalism. Being here, oh, being here has been incredible, I, incredibly eye-opening. It's like what happened in the United States, if you remember, for the people, the Ind Indian, Indian people. They demolished, they killing. Them. This is what is happening here. History is repeating itself. They, they put like a policy or condition for the Palestinians after 9 to 10 o'clock, 9, 10 o'clock, no Palestinian soldier in the streets or no policeman in the streets. Here? Yeah, in all Palestinian lands. The Israeli tell the Palestinian side, we don't want to see any Palestinian soldier after 10 o'clock. Or 9 to 10 o'clock, so maximum. So you see, they, could, they control everything. They control everything. Water, sky, the everything. Even if they can control our breath, they will control security, everything. Each each person, each family, they have their special story about suffering from the Israelis. Each family here, each family, you believe me? Each family has suffered from the Israeli soldier or from the occupation. So where we are standing right now used to be called Bethlehem Jerusalem Street, but not exist anymore. After they built the separation wall, the land get taken and the life here was being very complicated. So the Palestinian here, they start suffering a lot. They start having many problems. This area where we are standing right now is called Area C. So the Palestinian Authority, if they want to come over here, they need to ask for Israeli excuse to get permission to come to Area C because Israeli control all the area here, you know? There's different areas. Area A under Palestinian control, but just under Palestinian control, only just name. But Israelis still can enter inside West Bank and arrest whoever they want and just take whatever who, like, it doesn't matter. You just break all the rules, you know? How has the city changed since you've been a kid? It's changed a lot, man, because the wall is like taking half of the land from here and it's making the life, it's very hard. It's very complicated. In which kind of ways? What, what ways is it complicated specifically? Specifically, if you want to move around the West Bank, there's checkpoints to stop you and search you. Even inside Palestine? Inside Palestine, yeah. There's every city in Palestine, there's checkpoints. So they stop you and search your car, search, your, search the persons very well. They make it so hard for the person, so everywhere.
So every night they check homes. If they want to check homes, they can check homes without any excuse. Just like blow the door in the, in the, in the midnight, enter, enter inside Palestinian family house, arrest whoever they want, and just bye bye. So what, what is what are no reason? There is no reason. reason. Just like it's very fucked up. No reason. Actually, Israeli people also they are tired of uh, this bullshit things. The problem is not with Israeli people. The problem is with the government. We don't have problem with Israeli people. We have problem with the government. We have problem with the settlers who occupied Palestinian lands and built and built like a temporary homes and call it this is the home. So this is what the problem. We have two problems. So settler, settler, settlements and occupation. We are strong. We grow up strong and we, we will die strong. That's it. That's how we live. We grow up strong and we'll die strong. This is how our family teach us. And we will not think about freight or something. We'll think about justice and freedom and about the peace this is what we want. Do you foresee peace happening? No. I only plan on staying in Palestine for one night, but it feels way too significant to, to leave yet. There's too much to learn and too much going on here to not become active. Gunshot.